Then Oshiker hired people to create sound effects for a video, and I decided to record my version. Hi, I'm Daniel Farjun. I created this version and I want to share with you guys the whole process. So first I'm going to show how I recorded stuff. The second final result. Now it's time to go to the computer, so let's check in details what I did there. Here we are in Reaper. The first thing that we have is a whoosh together with this uh, animation with the splash. It's also whoosh. So... Yes, so in Reaper we have these white noise generators, so I create just uh, any length of empty clip. Come here and uh, sorry take and show fx chain and type here white noise white noise generator here we have let me glue here i'm gluing this so i'm generating like a audio i don't have any effect anymore so the white noise it's like all the frequencies together add for example take volume envelope and we put this to zero and we start for example adding volume automation here so for example if i do like this what do we have i'm solo here so the more the shorter i do the faster i do here so this is this is the base for this first part here that we listen but uh, what's happening here that we have all the frequencies i'm opening here like a very simple equalizer i'm removing the higher frequencies and here it is so you can emphasize whatever you want understand the difference you understood how i did it so let's mute and this is the final Let's open this. Uh, I have this equalizer. So here is what I did removing the higher frequency that I did here. And also you are going to see this river, a little bit of longer tail to this whoosh. You see that? You can let me remove this reverb. I have also effect here. So see, I'm adding extra bass for these uh, frequencies. Listen, and if it sounds good, it's good. This is super dry version, all the reverbs together. Okay. And when the, everything starts, actually the tail of the reverb fades away. It's there, but you don't need to actually listen to this extra tail. Well, what I did here is absolutely the same. You understood here with the automation. See, it's the same white noise. Then here the things start to be less sound design and let's play with the recordings and play with the layers. I did some recordings. Let me just move this around. I was rolling something the good thing is that you can feel these bumps, right? When I'm rolling this, whatever it is. And you feel that it's somehow on a wooden table. What I did here is I sliced just to have these bumps. This is one layer. Another layer. Thank you. 
Mm. This is interesting. We have a pitch. I put a lower pitch. And also I reduce the playback rate. It's not playing like a natural speed. It's a 0 0.38 from this one. 100%. So it's 38%. Let's do the opposite here. So let's put zero pitch, no pitch shift, one speed. So this is our original. So actually I was uh, sliding the milkshake glass on a wooden table because I couldn't slide as much as I had this slow motion. Uh, I added two layers of this movement. And on top of this, of course, I reduced the pitch to have more slow motion effect. We are in slow motion. You know? So, <laughs> let's again. And here is the natural one. Here is it's just picking up. I literally, literally use the picking up uh, thing. So, you can see here. We also have this audio. I'm adding this feeling of the glass rolling. So I recorded with my smartphone. It's not a fancy, it's nothing special. I recorded with this Samsung smartphone. While I was filming to show you guys how I could layer this stuff, how, what was my source, and I just decided to use this. So actually, um, yeah, it's what you saw on the screen before. This is absolutely the originals. Another part of the audio. I have more layers. I have this. I have this. It's a bassy one. And for this, you already understand, put more gain on the low frequencies remove the higher frequencies and you have an extra boom. Here I have another type of punch or something bumping for the transition of the camera. Instead of using that swoosh again, whoosh again, I'm using something I created with the movement of the glass on the table. So, next step is it's like a shift going up. I just put this rear pitch. So I added like uh, four same tones. Uh, but actually I'm moving from four to ten same tones. So I'm doing this. <whistles> Equalizer. Rolling off the bass frequencies. I'm yeah adjusting again. Giving extra high frequencies. Another layer is this one let's listen actually do you know what it is it's watermelon yes i'm breaking the skin of the watermelon and actually this product it's frozen watermelon for you to do this uh, smoothie right i literally used the simulation of opening this package while I recorded opening the watermelon. So this is one audio. This is another audio. I opened the stereo here, left and right. And this is the central one. A different texture, it's not the same. To gather all these layers, we have this. Well, next one. Ooh just pitch and original recording so i'm going to add this second here just to show to you isolated items this is again watermelon squeezed like with my fingers and etc now you can understand right this is another one and here we have a pitch shift, we have different stuff. So let me again put as a zero. 
I really don't remember <laughs> what I recorded here, but it's uh, watermelon. Let's see. Eyes. Ah, Again, it's also ripping, breaking the skin of the watermelon. See how crazy it is. Crazy. Let's roll back. And here is with the effects, with the pitch and everything because I didn't want again to put that sound with too much high frequencies. On top of this, we have other stuff happening. So I wanted to give attention to these other stuffs happening, like, like, lots of things. You see how many layers we have here. So this is, I didn't name the tracks, but uh, from the wave, I can feel that it's something bassy. Ooh. You already understood. It actually is leather coat. Pillow. I'm holding this microphone and with another pillow hitting. See? Let's open here. So I remove the movement back when I removing the pillow. This back is not interesting. But the first part, yes. So, and that's it. Because it's just putting the things on this table, like, and I want to make things bigger than real life, right? Second one, I took this uh, plastic package of the cherries and just opened. Just to add some little extra flavor here. <laughs> and Another one was, this was just touching this uh, Doritos package. Here you can. I decided to use this a little bit plastic sound when you just uh, put down and of course there is plastic movement and I needed to add this extra sauce. Of course, we need all these pieces. And I decided to use these cherries. Why? Because how could I make these things bounce? But it's like a watermelon. But it's uh, somehow frozen watermelon. Or it's supposed to be frozen watermelon. But I didn't want to create so much high frequencies of the... Like a soft ice breaking. like Because it's a, again slow motion. I wanted to sound more bassy, so I decided to record something that could generate these bassy sounds and still sound not too hard, but a little bit soft by nature because of the cherries. One here, another here, different. Just add a bunch of them. And I followed here the same strategy for these already melting watermelons. Because you see on her hand, it's already something wettish. I decided to create something more. Yep. Yeah, so this is the video that I recorded just to show what I did for the wet part. So again, here I use the cherry. So you can see here that I use the same sample, but if I simply decided to use the same sample because it was the same cherries uh, being dropped in, a, in different ways, but the, the sound is the same. But the, what I did here, I changed the pitch for each drop. So it's more bassy, more high frequency, more bassy. So I'm playing with this so you can understand Okay, it's a little bit of variation that gives more, let's say, natural feeling. On top of this, I added this that we recorded with the finger on the watermelon. Putting them together. I added this uh, bassy together with the water stuff and I created like a more sound of a drop and again, slow motion. Let's continue. 
Okay, I have a little bit of transition here with this white noise. I decided to create here a different volume automation curve. I went from almost 24 or two octaves up to two octaves down. So I had a shift of four octaves in the pitch. And together with this, I added this. Remember those sounds of messing with stuff on the table? This was a rolling something on the table that I used in the beginning. And then I decided to use this as a transition together. It, it doesn't make sense like this. But together with everything else, It's a creation, it's just my interpretation. It could be anything. What else? Here, I didn't have any more of this microphone, so I decided to use smartphone microphone to record, to continue the recording. Actually, this is an error because I started mono and at the end, I should fix this now. Continue to choose the left channel. Yes. And uh, because I recorded stereo, you see that I have this recording and this recording, right? What's the difference? This is the same, the same file, the same everything. Let me just fix here. And now you are going to understand that here I use the right channel. So the left channel, I did something different than the right channel. So on for the left channel, that's play it natural. This is the left channel. What did I do on the left channel? Equalization. Equalization. Adding extra bass and removing some high frequencies. Pitch. I put up the pitch because I wanted to create, again, different layers. But because I had left and right, I decided to use the left one way and the right another way. I could maybe you have used the left and left, maybe to avoid some phase problems. But uh, let's let's think that this is okay for now. So for the right one, right channel, I did different equalization and different pitch. Now this is uh, two octaves down of, from the original. So I have this. Because again, it's slow motion, I'm adding this different. This is the higher. And when we, and when we add them both together. Next. Ooh. Remember that I was messing with these things rolling on the table. I just added river to create more a big tail and a different perception. And now we have this. Okay, uh, together with this one. What did I do here? Ah, this is very interesting. Actually, I recorded something that I don't remember, but I did some repetition on the movement. I don't know what was, if it was on the table, I really don't remember, but I decided to create like a motor. Vroom, 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 vroom. I had only two sequences of the up and down of the waves, the cycle of the motor. Here I decided to use this in a lower rate. I didn't change the pitch, but uh, the playback rate is like this. It sounds like a motor, right? Every time I saw the blade passing by, I created a vroom, vroom. And here it's a little bit faster. That's why I create a vroom vroom. Also for the liquid. So it's supposedly doing the same, right? Vroom vroom. Moving on. So we have the liquid, we have these blades, and I added here this effect. What is this actually? It's just the starting movement of the blender. Just this starting. 
pulsing. Of course, in slow motion and lower it pitch. So we have this original. This is the difference. So together with this, we have the blade sound. I don't know if this one. Yes. It's a blade, right? It's uh, starting to rotate. Of course, it will never produce this sound, but just extra flavor. We have already something bassy happening. This motor. Yeah, it's this motor. So I continued the super bassy movement because the liquid is going up and down, right? So I added this bassy one. Like pulsing up and down together. And here I just uh, remember it's the same motor. I just uh, skipped each part of the wave so I could make them closer or apart and just to speed up or slow down each of these controls here. And this I achieved by creating what uh, they call stretch markers. Add stretch marker, it's just Shift W. So together with this we have other sounds. And this is the interesting part where I added this And what is this visco sauce video? This small image here. Nothing fancy here, right? I have, uh, this is just about video. This is the equalization. I removed the lower frequencies, the higher frequencies, 300 to 1K more or less, with some emphasis here uh, in the middle around, uh, let's say 700. I have this. Slow down. Pitch is the same, but half speed. A little bit less than half speed. Together with this, I have another layer. I'm actually adding water sound. <laughs> Together with the same water sound. Let's go one by one. I added this. I added this. Bass frequencies. I changed the pitch. You see the difference? And even more bass frequencies, low frequencies. At the end, we finish with these layers. For this part, we have this, 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 and this motor here. Well, I followed the same concept for the next part, so it would blend better from the blender to the liquid. And again, I use the same bottles. And I use this one. What did I do here? Just equalization and a second one. Same speed, same pitch, but a different equalization. And when I blend them together, yeah, this is a mess, but when we see the picture, it really sounds like a, it's not water, right? It's something more thick than water. I added this extra reverb, like a transition stuff. It's simply just... Uh, stronger sound from this shaking stuff. So, the straw is going inside the liquid. So I have... You know, like from here to the end, we have the same source of the liquid sound, but played in different ways. So 
So I decided to add white noise, just add some movement to this. So this is the automation, the curve for this part. I have this equalization with emphasis here in 112, 100, 120, sorry, uh, hertz. And, and we are almost finishing. What do we have here? Ah, this, this popping sound together with uh, reversed popping here. I reversed this one. This is with the reverb and this is the reverse with the reverb. You see like it's... Uh, yeah, I just created like a whoosh or from the popping just to create something very fast and... And uh, yeah, well, we are almost there. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, we have some birds. So I decided to create a fade out at the end. To create room for that less splash to pop, literally. We have another sound. This one actually sounds like... Uh, so here I just change the pitch and listen to the difference. This is a dry sound. I had this sound as original. And how did I transform this so long one into this? This is very interesting to show to you guys. So I created this equalization and look what I did with the effect of the editing I can show to you guys. Look. Can you pay attention that all the spikes that I have in the frequencies and the harmonics are exactly the ones that I reduce the volume? Can you see here? So these are the harmonics of the sound. If I take them off, let's, uh, let's listen to them, like... I dry the sound. On top of this, I boosted these mid frequencies to sound less metal and more glass. A little bit metal together with glass, it's keeping them together. And to glue this together, I put this round reverb. Then, isn't it the same as you had before? You tell me. Lasting forever. No, right? And on top of this, as I mentioned, the extra sauce. I didn't do any effect because I decided to add the soundtrack. So I created this very simple and cozy <laughs> soundtrack. I just layered uh, acoustic guitar with xylophone or marimba, this melodic percussion. They call it mallet. Very simple, repetitive, but... Yes, synchronized. So, it's a very simple, very easy way to glue them everything together and to create this uh, different atmosphere. And we are going to watch now the final result.
I really hope you enjoyed this video and the whole mess that I created here in the house. I had a lot of fun. It's it's my world. It's I, I really love to create sounds, to uh, mix sounds, to create layers and thinking out of the box. So what I can record to get that sound that I don't have with me now. For example, the smoothie, the, like a liquid going up, but I didn't want to use water because it's it's more thick than water and I didn't have the things at home to to create this movie and uh, and I decided to record fast I actually I wasn't intending to to create this video but I decided to record because actually it was nice and I thought why not share this result with the people so here it is I really hope you enjoyed this process as much I enjoyed creating it so please let me know in the comments uh, what you think about this, if it's worth the $40, $100,000, if you like what I share with you guys, and if you want me for the next videos, what you want me to create and to show to you. So again, I'm Daniel Farjun. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, you know, right? Share, subscribe, hit the like button, comment below. Yes, I like Daniel. Please continue. Daniel, very nice. Daniel, you s <laughs> Whatever you prefer, please let me know. And it will be a pleasure to continue to record for you guys, to share my knowledge in the sound design, creating sound for games, creating music for games, creating just music, creating music for advertisement, for events, for whatever will come next to share with you guys, okay? Thank you very much. I appreciate that you stayed till the end and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.